CM365 all about Carnatic music. Today we'll be taking up a slightly complex subject in the sense that we'll be discussing about the Asampurna Mela Paddhati of Sri Venkatamakhi. We are all very comfortable with the Sampurna kind of Melagartha scheme that was devised by Govindacharya because of the fact that it is easier to remember also in terms of the Arona, Arona boat taking Sarigama, Padanisa and Sani Dabba, Magirisa and occurring in a certain order. So that way it seems much more easier to remember. But the contribution of Venkatamaki in looking at the Ragas from the aesthetic point of view is something very much noteworthy. The formation of the 72 Melagartas by Venkatamaki, we could say is indeed a great landmark in the history of Carnatic music. He called his system the Asampurna Melapadhati as against the Asampurna Melapadhati that we see today. He in evolving the scheme of 72 Melas has strictly adhered to the true conception of Raga and in his system there was no such thing as uh, differentiating between a scale and a Raga. A Raga or rather something could become a Mela only if it had the criteria to be called a Raga. So there was no actually differentiation by him as something as a scale and something as a Raga. And if it was not a Raga, it did not have any existence at all according to him. From the earliest days of Carnatic music to recent times, a Mela is understood to be a Raga wherein the seven notes occurred whether in ascent or descent. So in the Asampurna Mela Paddhati, as against the Sampurna Mela Paddhati, in Sampurna Mela Paddhati we say that the all the seven notes have to be present in the Arohanam and the Avarohanam. But in this system of Venkata Megi, what he said is that the Arohana and the Avarohana combined together, if it has a total of seven notes, that will suffice. That is either the Arona or Avarona. If it has got seven notes, that is enough. It's not necessary that both should have all the seven notes in it. This was the theory propounded by him. So, uh, based on this uh, Shri Raga, which has Sarima Panisa Sani Padani Pabariga Risa where the Arona only has got five notes, but the Arona has got all the seven notes. So, according to Venkatamaki, Sri Raga is one of the Melas. Similarly, uh, another example we would give is of uh, Kedaragola, which has got five notes in the ascent and uh, seven in the descent. So, this also according to him is a Mela. Now, when he propounded the 72 Melas according to the value of the Swaras, that is Re1, Re2, Re3, Ga1, Ga2, Ga3, then Ma1, Ma2, Da1, Da2, Da3, Ni1, Ni2, Ni3. So based on this combination when he actually started to create this uh, 72 Melas and make this theory, he found that some of them were represented by Ragas actually in existence. So when you try to combine certain notes by this uh, permutation combination, he realized that some of them actually existed already. For example, if you take Shankara, Varnam or Kalyani, all these were already in existence. But there were also others which were not there and uh, as a Raga form it was not there. 40 of them represented in this the Vivadi clan and uh, combination for this you know he said that the conception of a Mela need not be Sampurna in Arohana and Avarohana but it should be melodious and that is the criteria. So when he tried to create this whole Melagartha scheme the concept entirely relied on the aesthetics, that is the creation should have melody in it. That's what is the purpose of his uh, classification. And basing on these fundamentals, he followed a certain principle with reference to Vibhadi combinations. And this is very, very interesting as to how he combined notes to form these uh, melas, uh, the Vibhadi combinations, where he said that some particular combinations are melodious and some which are not melodious should not be actually admitted in terms of their sequence. Let us look into a few of them. Now the first one is in the use of the Ga1 where 
obviously Gavan comes with a combination of Revan only. He realized that Sarigama cannot be melodious, but the other way around in the Agarona Krama, Magarisa could be melodious by adoption of a Jaru Gamaka. That is, Sarigama, according to him, is not melodious, but Magarisa, he felt is melodious. So what he did was, now if you look at the first Melagartha, which adopts this uh, Swara combination of Revan, Gavan, we see that in uh, the what we call as, he calls as Kanakambari. He totally avoids this Gavan and you see that the Aruna comes like Sarima Padasa Sanida Pamagarisa. Similarly, in the first chakra, we see that all the six Melas actually employ Rivan Gavan. So, where he has totally avoided the Gavan in the Aruhana, the second Mela, Sarima Pa. Third also, Sarima Pa. Like this, all the six Melas in the first chakra they employ only Sari Mapa in the Arohana, whereas in the Avarohana it is Magarisa when the combination is Rivan Gavan. Similarly, we also see that when the combination is Dhavan Nivan, like Padanisa Sanidapa, according to him, this Padanisa is not melodious and uh, Sani Dapa, according to Miss Melodious. So, we also see that uh, in the case of uh, the first uh, Kanakamri, again we see that, uh, again looking into it, Sarima Padasa Sani Dapa. So, according to his own principle, he avoids the uh, Nivan also in the Arohanam, and the Avarodam is Sani Dapa occurring here. So this according to him is one of the theories. And uh, we also see that uh, in dealing with the re three, that is uh, another combination, Sari Ga, Re three and Ga three, another Vivadi combination. We see that he feels according to him the Magarisa the Sarigama as such, Sarigama, he says is melodious, whereas Magarisa is not melodious according to him. So thus, uh, for example, if you take the Chalanata, which employs this uh, concept of Ritri and Gatri, in Chalanata, he gives the Aronam as Sari in a Sampurna way. Sari Gama Padani Sam. But the Aronam comes as Sani Pabari So we see that uh, this kind of uh, combination occurs in all the Melas where you see that the Reed 3 and Ga 3 are there. He deliberately use Marisa instead of Magarisa because according to him as I said this uh, Magarisa is not a melodious combination. Thus we see that uh, in uh, all this likewise Padanisa but avoiding Sani Dapa in the descent and this kind of a principle we see that uh, uh, runs through all the 40 Vivadi Melas. Marisa, that's what I was mentioning earlier also where he said that uh, Magarisa is not aesthetic. So wherever Ma that uh, uh, combination of Gatri, Ritri comes, he makes it as Marisa. Thus in the scheme of uh, this 72 Melas, Venkatamaki avoided Vivadi combinations such as those which do not conduce to melody and he evolved the Mela avoiding the Sampurna scale whenever he found that if according to him it was a mere scale and it did not possess the melodic property necessary for it to become a raga. So where the 
um, sequence in a sampurna form was melodious he kept it he retained it that way but in these combinations like the vivadis that i was talking about of the uh, riga or the dani combination which i mentioned where he according to him this was uh, the sequence as such was not melodious he felt that either it should be deleted or it should be used in a vakra way so that the sequence does not come straight thus affecting the melody of the ragam itself in a system no scale can be miscalled as a raga also a scientific classification provided a background to all carnatic ragas so whatever ragas were prevalent at that time based on this kind of a classification they fell under different uh, that is uh, melas according to sasampurna mela padathi they came under them and uh, those that were in existence and those which may come thereafter for that also he laid the foundation based on this theory of course we see that the sampurna scale has become popular uh, today in the sense that the sarigama padanisa sanidapa magarisa uh, probably as i said earlier also this has taken over the sampurna mela padathi uh, dikshada strictly actually muttu sami dikshada Uh, followed this venkatamakki sasampurna mela paddhati only while composing his compositions so in all his compositions you would see that the grammar uh, of these vivadi melas that uh, um, venkatamakki has mentioned has been strictly followed in the compositions of muttu swami dikshadar uh, because he was a true follower of this asampurna mela paddhati of venkatamakki probably in one of the later episodes we'll look into a few compositions and analyze and see how this uh, asampurna mela padathi of uh, venkatamakki was effectively employed by muthu swami dikshadar in his compositions and uh, of course uh, as i mentioned earlier also again the simple kind of uh, mela karta of the krama kind of uh, sampurna arana arana is caught on now but in terms of conceptualization of ragas in terms of the aesthetics of ragas the scheme of uh, asampurna mela padathi that venkatamakki devised is absolutely unparalleled cm 365 all about carnatic music